Cartoonist? My God, you must have been really weird. That's brilliant. Cartoonist? <laughs> Were you like sketching all the teachers in class? You've done me already. <laughs> Fantastic. Somebody out here. A writer. A writer. Go on, somebody else. A dress designer. A dress designer. Not a million miles away from what you're doing now. Somebody in the middle of the room. Somebody else. Come on. Someone over there. Lady there. A pop landlady. A pop landlady. <laughs> I bet you were popular, weren't you? With the boys and everything. In those days. I was at the front of my class when this was answered with like four or five other kids. And it was all, um, what's her name? Jean Fairbrother. She said she wanted to be a nurse. And I'm at the end and I'm thinking, if, there, if all the answers are nurse and stuff like that, I'm in big trouble by the time it comes to me. And the next one was a train driver. Good answer. Train driver. Then we had a teacher. And I'm stood at the door and thinking, I want to be an astronaut. And I wanted to be Virgil Tracy, actually. Thunderbird too. So I thought, tone it down, Mike. Don't say, don't say Virgil Tracy. Because she'll think you're stupid. So I was there thinking about what I could say as it came round to me. And when it got round to me, she said, what about you, Mike? What do you want to be? And I said, I want to be an astronaut. I told it down, you know, the answer. <laughs> I want to be an astronaut. And she said to me, oh, Michael, you know, everybody else has come out with a sensible job and a nice profession, and you want to be an astronaut. She said, where are you from, Michael? I said, I'm from Chorley, miss. She said, Chorley, brilliant. Astronauts from Chorley. Yes, I can see that. 